Welcome back to another Crazy School Drifter video, guys. Today, we're gonna to fix wobbly headsets. If you've got a wobbly headset, you need to watch this video. First thing you do, guys, is get a number six Allen key and you need to take off your steering wheel so you can get to these two nuts underneath the steering wheel. So we'll take the steering wheel off. You only need to undo it a little bit, guys. That's heaps. Just give it a little pop up, it should come off. Just like that. <laughs> Next thing you want to do is you want to spin your wheel back around to the right if you're facing the back of the cart like I am. Then you grab your tools. You're going to need these two tools here, guys, to fix your headsets. If you don't have one of these, two of these are okay, but I reckon they squash your headsets. It's up to you. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So we'll undo the top bolt first. So just loosen that one up, that one's all good. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna spin your wheel back the other way because when that, I'm just loosening it now to show you. So when you tighten it up, it's spinning, the, the fork can't spin anymore, okay? So you wanna pull it full lock and you wanna tighten this up finger tight, okay? Finger tight. And then you wanna get, pick the front of the card up and you just want to spin the fork and make sure it spins like that. See how it spins backwards and forwards? Like that. If, it, if it's too tight, it won't spin. I'll, I'll tighten it up for you and I'll show you. It doesn't spin properly, okay? So that's too tight. Loosen her up. Now I just do it until it just grips. Once it grips, I sort of hold it there because I, I tend to form when I tighten them up, I over tighten this one just a little bit more so that gets rid of that tiny, tiny little bit of slack that I've left there. So, you need to spin your fork around the other way. No, you don't, you leave it this way, sorry. And then, grab your tool. If you've only got these, you have to put this on the bottom there like that and grab it like that. If you've got one of these tools, you don't need to do that. But I'll show you. So tighten up the top one until it grips. Now that's finger tight. Just want to give it another little spin test. Beautiful. Can maybe even tighten that up a fraction, but that will tighten up a little bit when I tighten it up. The top one. For some reason, I always tighten up the bottom one a little bit extra too. <laughs> so. Put this on there like so, so I can hold that bottom one still. I wanna hold that bottom one still and turn the top one. So I'm turning the top one down onto the bottom one. Do that up, that top one as tight as you can. Now you should be able to pick the front of the cart up and it should spin like it did before. If it doesn't, it's over tightened. Like that, that is over tightened. That is way over tightened. See how it doesn't even bounce back? Right, I'm glad that happened because now I can show you how to readjust it again because sometimes it takes me two, three, four times. So turn it back that way, loosen it up, loosen the top one, spin it back the other way, tighten that up, so finger tight again. Hold it there, tighten the top one up. I'll do it the other way for you if you only got one of these and a big spanner, I'll show you how to do it. So you hold the bottom, shift on the top. <sighs> tighten that up tight. That's still too tight. <laughs> See, righto, that's all right. Like I said, sometimes it takes a little bit of mucking around and it can be quite fiddly. And sometimes a few swear words come out when you do this. <laughs> right, let's try again. I don't know why the fork keeps moving. Stay there. God damn it. Let's try that one. Oh, a little bit better. 
Still too tight. Let's go again. Like I said, guys, sometimes it can be very frustrating and very annoying. So if you know someone who knows how to do it, get them to do it. That's why one gets me to do it. Anyway, let's try it the other way. See if we can get this fork to stay still. tight for my life. Let's go again. Spin back the other way. I'd be happy with that because it's not binding. You could make it a bit looser if you want to, guys, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's not getting stuck. So, grab your steering wheel back on. There's a little notch there in the back of your steering wheel. Make sure that slides down. There's a little line in there, you'll see. Keep your steering wheel straight because it's got a little bit of wobble from center. So find the centre, there she is. Bang. Now, one way to check is turn your steering wheel sideways and wobble the car backwards and forwards. See how the steering wheel's not moving? No give at all. See that? No give. That's the tyre rubbing on the ground. So let's give you a quick demonstration, guys. Oh. Cut, go. This is a stop crazy car. No wobbles at all. Send it. You want to stop? Look at that. No wobbles at all. So, back is for days. And wobbly headset gone, guys. No more issues if you have any problems. If you are, stay tuned.